In this video, I'm going to explain the secret to fixing late preparation. And I don't use that word lightly. You see a lot of YouTube videos talking about the secret to getting power on your forehand and stuff like that. That's just clickbait. There is no secret. We've got the blueprints by watching all of the best players in the world play. We understand the biomechanics. But what I'm talking about is a secret because this is something that most people don't even know is possible but it changes everything. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, it'd be great if you could give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel before, really appreciate it if you could do that as well. So what am I talking about? Well, the number one reason that players prepare late for their shots is they can't read where the ball is going fast enough. And this is a relative thing. Obviously, at lower, lower levels, players aren't preparing until the ball crosses over the net or they're not preparing until the ball bounces on their side of the court. But at higher levels, it's still something that goes on. You need to be able to read where the ball is going before you can start to prepare. So you need to be able to understand the speed of the ball, you need to understand the spin of the ball, the trajectory, the direction, all those things before you can effectively start your unit turn and your different movement to the ball. Now, the reason that most players aren't able to read where the ball is going is because their visual systems simply do not function at a sufficiently high level. Now, some of you watching this are gonna understand that your visual system doesn't function well. Maybe you wear glasses or contact, or maybe you know that you struggle to track the ball or read it, but there's gonna be other, others of you that are watching this video that think you've got fantastic vision because you've been to an eye doctor and they've told you you've got 20-20. So what I need to explain is firstly, 20-20 just means average. It's possible to see much more clearly than that at greater distances. I know myself when I started vision training, I had 20 over 40 vision. Now it's 20 over 13, so drastically better than it used to be, but it goes a little bit further than that. It's not just about seeing letters in a doctor's office while you're standing or sitting still. The visual requirements in tennis are very challenging. Tracking and reading where a moving ball is going is very different to tracking an object that's still. And then when we start to throw in the fact that you're moving and doing all these different things, it really challenges the visual system. But if you're preparing late, it is an absolute certainty that your visual system isn't functioning at a high enough level to allow you to play tennis at the level you want. Again, remembering that this is relative. To play 3.5 tennis, the visual requirements are lower than those to play 5.0 kind of tennis. The good news though, is that you can actually train and improve your visual function. All of the visual skills are very trainable in just about everyone. So to help you with that, I've created a free Tennis Vision Starter Program that's gonna show you a number of different, very simple vision training drills that you can start to work on. And by doing that, it's gonna really help you to speed up your preparation. If you would like the free program, I'll place a link up there, and I'll place a link down in the description so that you can get the program. Just click on that link, it'll take you over to a page, enter your details on that page, and I will send you the free program. And like I said, this really does change everything. Now, potentially, you might need to make focusing on preparation a priority within your practice, because a lot of players kind of focus on the wrong thing because there's so many different parts to a tennis stroke, but you've always got to remember that the preparation comes first. You have to fix the underlying problem first. Potentially, you might need to do a little bit of work on your footwork because that's an area that lets a lot of players down as well. But unless you get your visual system functioning to a sufficiently high level, that's the biggest thing that holds players back. So that's the area that I recommend that you start working on things. Okay, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I would love to hear any comments you've got, so leave them down below, and uh, I will catch you next time.